God bless everybody today. It is April 12th of 2024 and things are probably going to break this weekend. So I want to fill you in on some things that could happen and some things you should be watching for. Um, you might want to fill your vehicles up this weekend before things really get crazy on here and maybe nothing will happen at all. But right as of now, everybody's basically indicating that Israel is going to be attacked in some way, shape, or fashion through Iran. And that it could either happen through Iran itself or Hezbollah or some of their proxies like Hezbollah. And you could bring in the Houthis, these factions from uh, Africa. You've got Arab nations on the ground in Syria and Iraq. You got potentially Turkey getting ready to come into this. You got a lot of players that could compress this area in the next few days to the next few weeks. And I've talked about this gap between April 8th and that eclipse and April 20th, which is basically 1260 days to the Feast of Trumpets of 27. I think that's extremely important as we move into this. So. So they're starting to shut down airports over um, Israel. They're starting to shut down airports over Iran. They're shutting. And when you start to see airport movement through air traffic shut down in countries, that is a good sign that they're getting ready for something to happen because they don't want to disrupt their economies, okay? So you don't do these kind of things unless you feel there's an extreme threat on your doorstep that's going to cause all kinds of problems and then you also watch people start pulling all their people out of these areas um, so like the united states will probably start pulling out their people in the in israel or and possibly even iran if we have people over there so that's something else that you should be keeping up with um, they're talking about it anytime um, there's some low-level rocket um, barrages happening right now, but they don't consider this to be um, this attack from Iran. So we're having these all kinds of different rocket attacks that are happening. These are increasing, though, and so that's something you should be um, uh, extremely concerned about is these will amplify. And they talked about Hez Hezbollah having potentially 150,000 missiles and better missiles than Hamas and more um, stronger um, applications that they can use against Israel. And so um, the question then will be whether Israel will get overwhelmed through their air defense systems and we could see potentially uh, some of these missiles get through and do extensive damage on their infrastructures. Now I want to bring this to your attention because this is extremely important to what could happen with fuel prices if this breaks out, okay? So right now you've got all this disruption between Yemen, the Gulf of Aden, and the Red Sea, between Yemen and all these groups dropping missiles down, and so they basically neutralize this area, and there's not a lot of traffic flow up through here to Israel, okay? If Iran gets into this, to hurt the global economy as they will want to do to shut us down and to cause fuel to go way up they'll want to shut down the Straits of Hormuz which is here around the Persian Gulf and the Gulf of Oman okay if you shut this down here that changes the equation because now you've locked down this whole area for any kind of transportation up and down through this area okay that's going to shock the fuel prices and the barrels of oil out here to where they're going to go up to triple digits. If this thing breaks out, you could see oil go to 125 or higher a barrel, which would then cause a rippling effect through everything and inflation would go insane. And if that happens, the Arabs could get into this and embargo us or the world to the point where they lock down everything and it creates an additional crisis similar to the 1973 oil crisis where we had gas lines everywhere and fuel went up 3x overnight, okay? This could happen. And if you remember the oil uh, or the gas 
fuel lines where you had to go there on a specific date and get a few gallons of fuel and you had to wait in lines for hours to get your few gallons of gas while the whole economy shut down this could get ugly quickly and so i've been talking about a potential black swan event on this monday because if you get an attack like this and these fuel prices start to really push up past triple digit you're at 90 dollars now or higher you get these fuel prices move up over a hundred dollars to 125 dollars and then you have an embargo thrown down on top of it it will it's a game changer look a similar hat thing happened in 1973 during the yom kippur wars okay realize what's going on here you gotta realize history repeats itself okay look arabs basically put on an embargo of oil and the reason they did this was they hate israel okay which they still do nato hates israel everybody hates israel as far as we can tell even the united states ain't real happy with them right now okay these arab countries announced an impending total oil embargo against the countries who supported israel at any point the fourth arab israel um Arab Israel War, Yom Kippur War, it's all the, basically the same thing. Yom Kippur is back in October of 1973. So, need to understand that's what's going on here. Which, look at this, which began after Egypt and Syria launched a large scale surprise attack, which ultimately a successful attempt to recover their territories they had lost to Israel during the third Arab Israeli War. Well, now you're getting ready to go into the fourth or the fifth. Arab Israeli war okay and so what OPEC did was they put an embargo down and look at what happened and now look at, okay this was 1973 okay so you got to understand what's going on here they put an embargo down against Canada Japan Netherlands the United Kingdom and the US um, which expanded into all these other areas in March of 1974 the embargo was lifted but look what happened prices of oil rose nearly 300 percent it went from three dollars a barrel to nearly twelve dollars a barrel globally okay now if you 3x our fuel now at 90 dollars a barrel and it goes to 270 a barrel can you imagine I'm not sure I can imagine what the pump prices will be. Okay. Look, this is a not a mess around time. If this breaks out, this could get ugly quickly. And it's all going to be fuel driven, okay? Oil driven because it drives the economy. Regardless of all this crap they're throwing down about solar, wind, and all this other stuff, your economy is driven by oil. You're also going into a Friday that looks terrible in the markets right now. You've got the Dow down 543.44, the NASDAQ's crashing down almost 2% at 297.82. You got the S&P crashing at 85.59, which is almost 1.65% decrease. You've got all kinds of, uh, look at these companies that are getting hit today. Look at the amount of loss in their margins that they're losing right now due to these uh, stocks tanking. I mean, you're losing 5 to 8 to 10% on some of these stocks here, and the bonds are still melting up at times. Okay, guys? Today they're down a little, but if you get a shock, you get a shock here, and oil starts moving up, them bonds are going to flake out, and they're going to melt up, and it's going to cause insanity on the ground. Look, oil and is moved way up. Um, that's probably uh, WI, uh, WTI, Brent's even higher. Um, natural gas is up. Gold and silver are down marginally, guys. Marginally. Look at silver. Okay. Gold went up over $2,400. That's what I mean. People are running to safe havens. They got no choice. They, they know these markets are getting ready to, to tank. Okay, so you need to understand this. 
Look at Bitcoin. I've been okay. Look, when I talk about these markets going down, they don't go down overnight. It takes a little while. They're charted for a reason. I warn you plenty of time in advance that they're going to crash. Okay. So the other day when I put it out there, the Bitcoin was going to go below 60 and then potentially drop to 42.5 or below 40 if it really gets bad out here due to geopolitical craziness it's probably going to happen and i'm telling you this could happen in the next week or so because it's already starting to fail look bitcoin's lost over three thousand dollars overnight okay it's starting to react to the markets just as metals are reacting and moving up and yes they'll drop down at times but they'll move back up and they're in a trajectory up right now due to this condition that we're in right now of this warp that's moving and that is what's moving all these dials right now is this an, this potential attack by iran it's it's what's moving everything right now guys so 50 years ago you had a massive oil crisis and 50 years later from 1973 you're going to have another one and you're on the very margins of it right now i'm not a financial planner advisor for anybody but myself you need to get your oil in your lamps guys this may be the last possible chance before this really breaks okay and think about it if you have an attack from iran onto israel of any size shape or form which is going they're going to attack they're going to hit them it could be global israel has to retaliate iran will retaliate this will accelerate over the weekend to a potential black swan event on monday or in the next week as we move into the next week towards April 20th okay guys they're gonna reset the system I've been talking about this forever you got to reset the system the only way you know, look the way you reset the system is you break it you force oil to go way up you create a total nightmare on the planet and then you bring the economies down you drive you drive oil up so that everybody basically loses everything and they restructure everything and they go to war this is how it always works you saw this happen in 1973 and guess what you're getting ready to have another one okay this is like the fifth arab israeli war that's getting ready to start on top of all this other stuff that's going on out here would you get an embargo on oil and i'm going to tell you right now things will change you can see it, it, if you haven't getting ready you aren't going to be ready and there's no way you can probably get ready completely before this thing really breaks but that's you know i'm just trying to warn you guys you can do whatever you want out here it's getting ready to break iran will dictate the picture as we move forward and israel will offset that picture and it will create a widening of a regional battle that will encompass the whole world soon okay ukraine's losing the war up there against russia the euro and all that's getting ready to you know nato's getting ready to go against russia because they feel that he's a an a imminent threat we just saw a huge power plant in kiev over in ukraine destroyed that's a game changer for them okay so ukraine will have to try to retaliate and they're going to lose this battle because we can't shove enough weapons and stuff up there to matter okay nato's going to have to figure this one sort of out on their own because we're out on a limb and we don't have any money left to support the global war effort keep an eye on this guys things are changing rapidly and you need to understand what's coming but if they throw something like this down on you with what's going on in the world 
this is much going to be a much bigger uh, destructive process than we saw back in 1973 due to all the geopolitical and everything going on out here and then if you get this to happen and you raise those prices up to where fuel at the pump is like five seven nine dollars a gallon i don't know where it could end up you're gonna have civil war on the ground civil war on the ground and it's crazy how we seem to understand what's coming because guess what the war or the movie civil war is coming out guess what today guys it's being released today so what do they know what do they know that they're not telling you out here i keep telling you they're lying to you they're not giving you any information out here that's why we're out here telling you what's coming this is going to unleash this weekend. We're eight hours behind. I'm in central time. It is 9.49 p.m. over there right now. And my guess is, just as we saw on October 7th, during the Sabbath, they'll unleash this nightmare tomorrow on the Sabbath against the Jews, which is going to change your whole world. I may be wrong, but this is going to break regardless of whether it's biblical or not. So if you haven't been getting ready, I don't know what to tell you, but I'm telling you it's probably biblical because I've been explaining this stuff for years to you all to explain where we are at this very moment in time. And you're, if you haven't getting ready and you don't see it coming, I really feel sorry for you because you won't be ready and you won't be good look if you're not ready and you don't have oil in your lamp and you're on the ground struggling like all the rest of the people how are you going to help anybody out here <laughs> why do you think he told you to put some oil in your lamp yeah you shouldn't give it all the people i get it but you can't be in a condition to where you can't help yourself alone help anybody else out here. It's not just about you. We're trying to be fishermen of men, trying to get people on the other side of the story here. And this is going to be a choice between evil and good, as you can see. Sevenfold the evil is coming upon you. You better get ready, guys. Civil war is getting ready to hit this country. Joe Biden broke this nation of Israel in half when he did his State of the Union speech. We saw a huge eclipse with a big A form over this country in the last seven years. And it's a warning to you that between April 8th and April 20th, things are going to break on you. It's just that simple. I've been warning you about this a long, long time. I'm not sure I'm going to have a platform here much longer to keep warning you, okay? So, I'm concerned. I want you to protect yourself. Get right with God and Jesus. Realize there's only one way out of this picture, and that's truly believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And you might be part of that remnant, at least in this country, that will be removed from this nightmare when it's finished. As he does in all nations, with all countries and all peoples, there's always a remnant of about a third. And that should tell you the state of our country right now that only about a third of the Gentiles truly believe in the Lord Jesus and they're not being deceived. So God bless everybody. Do what's required. And if it breaks, maybe I'll see you on the ground. But get ready. There's no turning back. The clock is moving forward. 
you are at 1268 days to the Feast of Trumpets the 27th of October 2nd. So that's where you are in time. God bless. Have a great night.